Mission Boxes, the Outdoors, Garen Equipment, and other fun things and places. Before we get started, hit like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Ding! Thank you for watching. Today, we are doing Grim Workshop. And there's a little ornament sticker. Hey, Merry Christmas, Miraculous Girl, and Merry Christmas to everyone out there. Happy Holidays and all that. Um, so today, like Miraculous Girl said, we have Grim Workshop, and I'm going to be using my Victoria Knox Compact to open it up. Someone said I didn't have to use a knife to open it, but... Uh, I kind of already know what's in here. Oh, and check it out. Christmas sticker. So last month we had Thanksgiving. And you know, I have to say with uh, Grim Workshop, <laughs> that's pretty cool right there. They, uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, they kind of incorporate the holidays a little bit at Halloween. They always have that uh, Halloween uh, uh, sticker and a uh, little notebook and stuff. So here's our card, and as always, I'll take a still shot of this and uh, put it in the video somewhere. Um, so we have the past, present, and future cards and a couple of little cards here. So, uh, well, no, let's let's go with the card here. Uh, first, let's go with, <laughs> okay, this is so cool. Let's go with the holiday ornament. So I'm real excited. <laughs> Wow, this, this is cool. Actually, it came with a fancy hook, too. Why is that? Sticky. Oh, it's the sticker. This is metallic. This is their business card. Uh, this is a... It has a the metallic ink on it. They actually put a little bit of uh, thought into that one with a Santa hat on it. I'm going to have to save this one. This one's pretty unique. Um, it's not the standard... Uh, one that we usually get. Anyway, so we got the Christmas card off here, and uh, this is our 2022 Christmas ornament, and uh, it looks like it has a little mini Grim Workshop card hanging off there. Um, let's see if I can get it angled. It's so shiny. It actually looks, I think, their Bushcraft card. It has uh, these are not meant to be broken out and used. Uh, you got the uh, uh, spear point arrowhead and fishing hooks and sewing needles and, and the knife. And it's a dangling ornament. And it comes with the uh, little hook that it hangs on. Actually, I think it's probably supposed to go like this. And that's actually pretty cool. Uh, they list this at $9.99. Uh, and I'm okay with that. I got a wood one from uh, Tack Pack, and the other part of it has the thing on it. But I got a wood one from Tack Pack. I was kind of mad they uh, put a price on theirs. It was a little wooden one for $12.99 or something. I thought that was a little bit excessive. But anyway, but uh, $9.99 all day. I would. I'll take that. <laughs> That's really cool. That's going on our Christmas tree. Uh, I might even hang it on this little. I got a little tree right here. <laughs> And we'll put our little Grim Workshop ornament. This is our table centerpiece. Uh, ah, that's awesome. Grim Workshop. Actually, I'll leave it set right over here for now, though. Sorry, playing with toys. Um, so, anyway. All right, so next up, we got the past, the present, and the future cards. And our past card is a uh, one of their, I think this was on the Kickstarter last year. Man, I'm having a hard time opening this package up. It is the Hotshot uh, Fire Starting Micro Tool. And again, still have trouble here. I'm gonna start using my knife. Uh, the micro tools all come with a little clip uh, in which to do it, and uh, it is a ferrule rod 
and I believe it's usually coarse on the sides in order to have a striker area and if I can get it out usually and this has that retention now I will tell you be careful on that because this tends to be a little bit heavier than the standard tools that are on here so the retention system some, sometimes doesn't always stick as hard so that throws out some nice spark that's cool uh, on the edge there so you have ferro rod flame is fun <laughs> and as with all of their uh, tools there's a adhesive backing on the back of this here so you can actually stick that onto something and keep it there if you uh, you know inside of a lid or whatever of an Altoids tin or, or something to that effect uh, so you got the ferro rod uh, that pass card uh, $7.99 for that so uh, that's kind of cool so you got your ferro rod striker and next up we have the present and this is cool because I don't have one of these amazingly enough but this is the Grim Workshop uh, fishing card uh, I noticed that on the back the adhesive has changed a little bit uh, so that you don't have uh, the whole thing uh, stuck in attachment wise so this has some spinner lures on here and inside the spinner lure is a hook so now all you have to do and I must say that's about a number I'm between an 8 and a 10 maybe hook does have a little small barb area not double barbs but it is barbed um, and of course you can return those and then you wrap your line in here and it has spots for you to once you got the hook hooked on the line you don't have to necessarily take it off and you can have your hook with your line but you wrap your line on that you can hold it and you can use this part as a reflective spinner or you can put this on here as a weight as well so you got three of the hooks and three <laughs> of the spinners along with the lure and the main portion of the of the spinners or weights is going to stay where you mount it hello guys miraculous grill is joined us for a moment but anyway so that's the present so look at the Christmas one we got that's cool right is it actually like um it's an ornament no no you don't use it it's not something uh, you're going to use that's actually meant to be an ornament oh, okay. um and then look at this card they sent survival but look at it glows see how it flickers oh yeah because it's metallic and all that all right Back to the task at hand. So next up, oh, okay, and bye. the by miraculous girl, uh, the the handcaster card uh, is listed at 19.95, and I didn't say it at the beginning, um, but the Grim Workshop subscription costs twenty dollars flat, uh, so that pretty much pays for your whole subscription, and the rest of it is kind of extra. So next up, we have the future card. So the future card is more than one actually. The future card is four of these little Ziploc pouches that look like credit cards. So <clears throat> it gives you a way to um, store items inside here. And uh, these are 
look like they're probably fairly water resistant and stuff. Uh, you want to keep some uh, aqua tabs, those water tabs or medications in these. That would probably be something good. Or you can just keep uh, your Grim Workshop, some micro tools in there or something. You're not going to fit a big card in there. A normal sized card is not going to fit in there, but any kind of little small items you want to put in there, the Signatures Grim Workshop. I wonder if that's their valid card. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, no, it's expired, 722. So you have uh, three of these. Um, they kind of look like a MasterCard emblem there, but with the Grim Workshop, uh, the uh, number on the outside looks like it's the same on all each one. So anyway, so that is the uh, future card. Uh, there's no descriptive card in there. Anyway, so uh, you have those four. And I, those are kind of cool. I like those. And those um, are, let's see, future card pouches. They are not listing a price for those, um, which is unusual because they usually list a price for everything. Uh, maybe they haven't decided or maybe, I don't know, maybe it's because it's in the future. Um, and they're not for sale. But anyway, there's four of those. We have received one of those once before. I think it had aqua tabs in it. I, I don't know. I don't remember if it was actually in one of the subscriptions, though. Um, but anyway, so that's in the future. So last up, we have two of their survival tip cards. We have the fishing card. And... Let's see, the fishing one is for uh, how to fish without a pole. Um, they are kind of display a, a trot line. Um, bottle bank fishing using a bottle. Limb line fishing and uh, jug line fishing. And they have some nice color photos with that. And then the other one is uh, skinning large game. And they have a little diagram on that and tell you how to skin out large game. So that is a look at the December Grim Workshop subscription box, subscription bag. Um, and <clears throat> I'm pretty happy with this one. I, I like it. I like the multi-use fishing cards and stuff. I, the fact that we got a ferro rod, we got a little Christmas ornament, uh, we got some little credit card pouches. Uh, those are really cool. And then our two uh, survival cards. So uh, anyway, well guys, I uh, hope you have some great holidays. And uh, remember to hit like and subscribe and, and be nice, nice to each other. other. All right. Thanks for watching.